Hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel this is Neetu today we are going to be talking about ancestral gifts what ancestral gifts has been passed on to you from your lineage of ancestors how is that helping you or uh, are you aware of these gifts or if you if you are not aware and this is coming to your attention for the first time so you can uh, start researching on that or trying to understand and tap into these gifts that you already possess within you uh, which is passed on from your ancestors from your lineage of ancestors so this is going to be a very very interesting reading and let's get started i have three piles here as usual pile number one two and three i'll also be placing the object on top of each pile once you make your selection click on the scroll down to the description box down below and click on the timestamps with reference to your particular pile that is going to be your reading if you're a visual person and if you want to select based on the object then i am going to be placing some objects for you to make the selection a bit easier for group number one we have pirate for group number two we have carnelian and for group number three we have a beautiful lapis lazuli Okay, so make your selection, pause if you need to and, uh, you know, you can meditate, do however you want uh, to connect with the cards and uh, I'll be starting with group number now, one, now. Welcome group number one. If you have selected this beautiful pirate crystal, this reading is for you. Your ancestors are... Um, uh, first thing they are confirming that this is the lifetime where you, you are going to shine. You are going to break out of normal uh, way of living what people, um, pers uh, you know, like um, have this idea of what normal means and you're going to break out of that, uh, you know, in this lifetime. Um, there is no conventional way anymore you don't believe in conventional way of living anymore like you want to be your authentic self you want to express yourself no matter how crazy uh, that may seem to this world you are the guys who are going to uh, you know color outside the box not inside the box anymore you want to just go crazy and try things um, you know to to understand what is that you 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 are urging to express or how is that you want to express yourself uh, so there is going to be a lot in terms of trial and error and if you are trying to still figure out what is that you want and how is that you want to live your life you are exactly doing what is necessary for you to ground your ideas and visions and trial and errors are one of those ways to understand um, what is that you really want to do in this lifetime and your ancestors are telling yeah that is that is who we are we don't settle uh, we don't try to um, try to fit in we are the weirdos we are the people who who does crazy um crazy things and uh, you're no different because you are you are coming from the same lineage where your ancestors did not shy away and they were not afraid to try try something new like they invented sort of new way of healing modality or uh or, or anything new these were the peoples who were paving path for uh, for others to follow so um that is what i'm getting you are very creative uh and you will um and and they're telling just mix it up and that is what we used to do like we mix things and uh, like alchemist uh that is one of the gifts that they have passed on to you um uh, you know alchemizing things mixing things up and um, bringing something out of um, something which was perceived as normal but you you take that and turn it into something absolutely unique that's that's your gift we have not even seen the cards there they are already you know giving so many messages yeah, the first card that we have is flute, that is expression, and then we have water. Again, expression, we have two cards which is talking about expression, that is your self-expression, that is your unique, authentic self, and water and flute, I'm getting this uh, energy of um, empathic abilities. 
you may be a water sign also so uh, this is about lot of being sensitive being empathic and uh, being natural that is what i'm hearing being natural raw uh, you know some of you may be interested in music musicians um, you know trying to trying to do something very original that is very unique to you that is what the gift that your ancestors have passed on to you to to try different things and not to be afraid of it if you are uh, if you are uh, really thinking twice before um, making some bold decisions in terms of uh, in terms of following your dreams your ancestors are here seriously telling you you know what you are not supposed to be settling you are supposed to be trying and expressing yourself in every possible way that you feel resonated with you know and also the water energy like you guys understand universal language like signs symbols synchronicities you guys are very good in understanding those signs and symbols and also you guys are very good in anchoring down the energies and birth it into this world like you guys are very very creative guys you know like you may have a hard time working in a normal conventional job you you always try to be uh, working for yourself uh, like like whatever is normal doesn't feel normal to you that is what i'm i'm getting uh, here and for a moment i spaced out for a bit like like you are back and forth moving between realms you know the uh, the, the emotional realm the mental realm uh, the physical realms like you bringing the messages downloads and then anchoring it anchoring it down and birthing it in this world in, maybe in terms of business in terms of career or maybe your creative endeavors maybe singing or maybe maybe uh, some way shape or form you'll be using your voice to express your your vision to this world people are going to hear that because you are going to touch the the right note the right chord in in everyone else people are going to get hooked to what is that you have to offer and that is amazing you have got the gift of voice for some of you 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 may be a very good natural singers or at least a very good person in communication uh, you know like you you can easily communicate and people are going to like Uh, will be hypnotized with the way you tell your story the way you express yourself that is some of the gifts that your ancestors have passed on to you okay we have hermit retreat and recharge and mirror guardian it's time to uh, reflect yeah maybe your uh, some of you may, you may not be following your dreams you may be doubting your expression you may be doubting your visions and uh, and that creation that is trying to birth um is trying to come out of you but you may be stopping it um for some of you for others of you this is the time for you to do the preliminary work on your dreams and visions babe because there is something very very potential here which is trying to uh, flow uh through you into this world all right and also mirror guardian it's time for you to reflect are you living your true authentic self because looks like your life purpose is to be as expressive as possible and to follow your creative creativity and make your living out of it or make your uh, make there is something about your purpose uh, linked directly to your self expression okay and also you guys um yeah and, and with this energy i'm getting like you guys are very good uh, if if you if you want to sit in meditative state like almost like when you put yourself into this work you get into this natural state of flow where you tap into the source energy of creation and like you download it everything that you do you download without your knowledge with that water energy there you are very intuitive you are very empathic you are very sensitive to energies and everything around you and you don't even realize that and if you already realize that this is a confirmation that yes you are too sensitive to energies and you will have to really um uh, take care of your energy and with 
whom you are sharing your ideas and visions or generally with whom you are sharing your life with that is going to matter a lot for you guys uh, group number 1 like you're very good in downloading and grounding that that downloads into this earth that is that is one of your gifts all right it could be in terms of anchoring it down using your uh, voice um, maybe you are channelers maybe you read tarot maybe you you do mediumship work or anything for that matter you know you may be doing counseling and you don't even know how you are speaking so fluently and it just comes out of you naturally you know you have this flow to you once you feel connected to the work that you really enjoy doing and the card next we have is 3 of cups and then ace of pentacles yeah you are you are here to shine in this lifetime this is a lifetime you are going to shine your light absolutely brightly uh, onto this earth you are very very important at this point in time on earth in the evolution uh, because you bring you you bring joy you bring happiness you bring light into this world through the work that you do the way you speak the way you express your uh, creation the way you express yourself um, it's like you are causing this ripple effect around you and people are drawn to you to to um, to take some of that beauty that you are offering all right in any way shape or form but your your ancestors are telling you you have this gift of charisma this natural um, attraction to you people really can't point out particularly what is so attractive about you but they are naturally drawn to you the way you talk your voice is one of the gifts that they have passed on to you your empathic ability your intuitive abilities your uh, um and your ability to download and anchor your dreams and visions is uh, the gift that has been passed on to you from your ancestors they were very good in doing that uh, you know like uh, invoking gods and goddesses using their um, using the statements using the petition uh, or or just by chance they used to use their voice to to uh, bring this alchemy and co-create with the universe um, and and you have that gift as well you know like you have the ability to connect to the other realms like you are always going back and forth and bringing in downloads and messages and you don't even realize that if you feel spaced out that is one of the reason and your um, ancestors are telling you you have to ground your energy very often you have to go into the nature you have to feel um uh Uh, like well connected to your body anchor yourself as well because you have the tendency to space out very easily yeah five of arrows frustration sometimes this may frustrate you because you really don't know what to do with all this uh, ideas and downloads that you get and you don't know how to anchor it down and how to how to create it in into this reality that may frustrate you sometimes um because of the energy that that is bombarded all around you and all the energies that you're picking up from others because you have this uh, tendency to absorb the energies around you as well that may frustrate you a little bit but that you know how to get rid of those sensitive energies and to um, maneuver your way through that all right you have this uh, a natural gift to identify your way out of the problem because you are so creative in your thinking and you'll find the solution uh, once you once you shift your focus from problem to to finding solution you're very good and very quick in finding solution um and that is another gift of of clear thinking but that calls for you to shift your mindset from problem to solution and um, and you you naturally know what to do uh you know like the, the gift of knowing is something what i'm hearing like you have this gift of knowing you have a problem and you sleep on it and and in a day or two you'll just know what to do about it so that is that is another gift that your ancestors are passing on to you and also actually they are directly helping you in finding solutions in in bringing and anchoring down these energies into earth and using these energies to manifest your dreams um you know they are helping you express 
yourself uh, very clearly so that you can shine. This is the lifetime you are uh, to step into that podium, into the spotlight and shine. Uh, and uh, your ancestors are very much involved in your journey. Um, they, are, they are sort of giving you signs, symbols, messages uh, whenever it is necessary. They are like uh, telling you to take a step back or to move forward with all the signs because you are good in understanding signs and recognizing it as well. You know, understanding is second level. Recognizing that this is the sign is is how you actually um, speak to the universe and you, you have that natural gift uh, to understand signs and symbols that is shown to you. And uh, again, they are repeating, this is the lifetime you are going to uh, stand in that spotlight and people are going to recognize you this is the lifetime that you will shine and we are helping you through that process right yeah that's that is what i'm getting so these are all some natural gifts that your ancestors have passed on to you in your lineage um that is that is simply amazing and i wish you um you use all of these gifts to your benefit and really stand in the spotlight and shine bright all right sending you all my wishes and blessings i uh, love you all take care see you in my next video if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel take care bye bye welcome group number two if you have selected carnelian this reading is for you let's see what your ancestors have passed on to you the gifts okay we have birth and three people okay okay we have three people sustenance and we have an all there and then we have the card of birth that is renewal here Okay, so three people, they are absolutely, uh, you know, like from the beginning of life on earth, the trees are the oldest species uh, or the oldest form of life that, that is there on earth. And your ancestors come from, I mean, your ancestry started as a tree people, you know, like they were trees. Uh, probably you were a tree when in one of your way back one of your lifetimes you started as a tree probably uh, you know so your ancestors like hold information uh, you know they have all the information that is um, that is important or, or the important events that happened on earth they hold the information uh, all right so um, the message that i'm getting here is maybe you are naturally drawn to nature um, you know you you feel like you have to take care of the nature you feel like you're you feel so connected to nature like you have to stand up for the rights of uh, of of preserving the forest preserving nature greenery and like like environmentalist sort of energy and also have this tree or a sprout and this leaves coming out of it it, it almost feels like you want to preserve the ancient um, wisdom uh, like you hold key to the ancient wisdom so the talent or the, or the gift that they have passed on to you to to have the compassion and curiosity to to retain and hold on to the information um, about everything in this world like you may be naturally curious you you are drawn to uh, preserve and fight for what is right uh, you know like especially with nature like you are the one who are who is planting trees um, and talking about uh, sustainability uh, living sustainably and not not using plastic um, and, t and and telling everybody or guiding everybody how to live more aligned with nature and maybe you're the people who who live in off grid for for some of you or you may be thinking of going off grid or finding ways uh, not to hurt mother earth you know to to be of service to mother earth in some way and you have this natural tendency to to understand what nature is trying to tell you uh, you know maybe you understand when tree uh, when you stand near the tree and put your hand on it and you sort of sense the energies the vibrations of the trees like they're communicating with you and you understand the language of trees because you are from that lineage you were probably a tree uh, of many many million years ago 
ago or or how many ever years that was and you know you understand the evolution of earth and you hold the key and the information and your ancestors are absolutely hold that bag of wisdom and they pass on to you as and when it is very important for you depending on what phase you are in um at the moment on on earth yeah you see and feel very deeply is what i'm hearing so that is one of your gift you see things uh much deeper than uh, what normally people would see and also you feel very deeply and um, you have this uh energy of transmutation group number 2 and that is very very unique like you you take some negative energy or any energy that is not good and you transmute it um and and release it you're very good in that uh, you know you go to some place and that is uh, your ancestors are confirming that that is one of the way uh, you are helping earth because wherever you go uh, you sort of absorb those uh, unwanted or low or weak energies and you transmute it and you raise the vibration of the earth in general and uh, they are telling you go to nature as often as possible because you feel alive when you are in nature and you feel very well connected when you are with the nature for some of you there may be your favorite tree um i don't know they are they are showing some tree and you're very fond of that tree and you're hugging that tree maybe as a child you were playing um you know like climbing trees and playing with them and things like that you are very naturally gifted when it comes to nature the way to connect with the nature living sustainably living very naturally organically using organic products you are naturally drawn to such things that is because you come from such lineage yeah she wolf unleash the wolf within and eagle see from a higher perspective yeah you're very wise uh, you're very mature people may have uh, commented that you are very mature for your age maybe if you are 20 25 30 40 whatever your age but you always acted very mature to your age you never acted your age you always felt you are very mature like you felt like you are a very uh, old or ancient soul as if i'm living forever here and things like that because you are your soul has like taken hundreds of lifetimes and uh, today you are listening to this um and this is sort of reminding you and uh, um uh and tapping into that unconscious and knowing that you are uh you know an old soul and you know everything you have been part of this evolution for such a long time hence you understand um the the life forms of life the birds the nature uh, the the seasons the uh, the natural world you are drawn to that and we have eagle here you've maybe seeing eagle uh, quite a bit or uh, you are drawn to eagle in some way and we have wolf here and she wolf and we unleashed wild within you are a wild being group number 2 like you you are wild you you want to live wild um i don't know what they mean by that like you want to live um like you feel you come alive when you are in the midst of nature when you are uh you know sitting and watching the rain um or the sea like these things make you come alive and you feel so good when you are there and this is a confirmation that you are in alignment with mother earth and one of your life purpose here on earth it is to help mother earth um uh, in, maybe in terms of environment or maybe in terms of preserving nature or wildlife um or i don't know maybe in a smallest form or in a grand form maybe you have a um you have a foundation that works for trees or preservation of trees and nature and things like that i don't know but, but that is what they are talking about you are very naturally drawn to uh helping earth and that is one of your gift to be to to be so compassionate and to feel so deeply for for everything that exists on earth including trees plants um animals uh, not just human beings you are very good with nature world than connecting with 
uh, human beings that is what they're telling you're very good and aligned with nature natural world than human beings that is that is your that is the greatest gift that your ancestors have passed on to you and we have princes of wands and princes of cups yeah you feel you stand in your power you feel and you act on it y yes yeah you feel very deeply and you do something about it you just don't feel about it many people will feel sorry for something but they move on with their life and and with you you feel about it and you do something about what is that you're feeling uh, you know you see somebody throwing that plastic on on the road and you see and you feel oh god what what is that uh, i mean why is that they are doing a uh, such horrible thing and you don't just walk away you go take that plastic off of the road and put it in the dustbin so you don't just see you don't just feel you do something about it that is your gift you act on your visions you act on your feelings you act um on uh, you take actions towards doing something about all this uh, uh that that feelings that you have um that gifts that you have and you don't just ignore it right so that is again a gift from your ancestors we are not just seers we don't just sit and see and taunt or comment on others we we just go do things and we don't wait for the government to do we don't wait for uh, the 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 person who is authority who is who has the authority in that particular place to come and acknowledge and do things you don't do things for acknowledgement you don't do things because somebody can uh, praise you or somebody can give you an award or give you money or praise you do things because you want to do you feel deeply and you feel responsible you f you know because you belong to this planet you, you it's like your you know it in and out and you cannot see um people abusing or misusing mother earth and you feel for it all right you guys are all about environment and nature and really preserving the beauty of nature and um maybe you do rituals i'm also getting this witch's energy maybe you're very good in doing rituals like moon rituals forest rituals um you know uh, offerings uh, you know talking to the trees and plants and uh, asking what is necessary uh, or what is that they need like do you need water do you need uh, some some minerals how can i help you uh, so i feel very close interconnectedness of you and earth my god that is so beautiful like you like you know you just know what is important for earth and you just do it yeah you are leaders group number 2 you are leaders you people follow you for your work that you do more than humanitarian work you are very much focused on uh, environmental work like bringing um preservation is what i'm hearing preserving helping uh, nature natural world yeah queen of stones bear very protective of earth very protective of your family as well uh, because you understand the value of family you understand the value of for you family just doesn't end with you, three of you or four of you or 10 of you in your family for you family means it's it's broad your perspective of what family is very broad like you you feel drawn to help as many people as possible you feel drawn to help with help nature help help the entire world entire earth in some way shape or form you are you are so big hearted people you know and that is all the gifts that you are carrying from your ancestors they have been like this like they were protective of their family protective of the earth uh, they are the protectors of earth even now they are the protectors they help uh, dream and birth the new world the new earth and you are one of those the, the frontliners who dream for a better world and you don't just dream and you take go a step ahead and do something about it uh, you are not the people who is going to sit in the you know back row and watch everybody do things and wait for somebody to come and take action no you are the front runners you feel 
and you do something about it these are your gifts from your ancestors group number 2 that is just beautiful and amazing some of you may also connect to fairies and fairy realms and you may communicate with fairies very well maybe fairies work with your lord devas fairies and um, and tree people of course yeah you might have to do some research and, and if you have not felt this way i think this is something uh, was intentionally brought to your attention today so that you can naturally start connecting to the nature world right you may fe feel differently about all of it once you start connecting to the nature realm yeah that's all i'm getting for you group number 2 if you have liked and enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you in my next video love you all take care bye bye Welcome group number 3 if you have selected lapis lazuli this reading is for you okay i'm hearing lot of egypt egyptians um lot of egyptian vibe that i'm getting here and also very old 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 ancestors like like they were part of some big civilizations like atlanteans lemurians egyptians like they know a lot of things they were very good in magic they were very good in spell work they were very good in seeing things beforehand like mystics witches uh, priest priestess sort of energy here they they could see into the future Uh, and also they were very well connected to the gods goddesses and deities um uh, normally uh, it it was normal to them to to connect with them every day and talk to them invoke them to help them with their um work or to just ask questions about the future or about the earth so that is the kind of energy i'm getting and also healers uh, shamans so a lot of mystic mysterious energy that i'm getting out of your group which is very different from group number 1 and 2 yeah abs <laughs> we have treasure medicine bag that's shaman there and then stone people knowing very interesting group number 2 got three people and you got you guys got stone people so very ancient ancestors coming through today it is not like just a generation or two um, old ancestors this these ancestors are way way back we can't even imagine um, the way they lived today and that is the kind of ancestors who are coming in today to to tell you that they have passed on their uh, passed on their gift to you okay so so the stone people that is about knowing like stone holds memories stone uh, holds uh, the information of the evolution of earth uh, you know like um stone is there forever even before anything else existed and they have been collecting all the information data and um, and wisdom that they have been carrying like they have solution to every answer in their bag you know and this medicine bag is something shamans uh, would wear uh, wear this bag uh, around their neck and this would Uh, touch their heart space um with all that they collect like this contains uh, tools and they, they they wear it around their neck and it sort of protects them so the, your ancestors are protecting you at the moment and also you are a very protective person maybe when it comes to protecting your family or protecting uh, uh, the magic the ancient magics if you may be already practicing some sort of um some sort of which uh, things like uh, a general rituals or moon rituals or healing some of you are shamanic healers or generally a reiki healer or some sort of energy work you may be doing or if you don't know uh, that you have that ability you may have to explore because um they are very clearly confirming that you have some sort of healing ability uh, you know like connecting to the other side and it is going to come i mean it is very easy for you to connect to the other side and uh, 
and bring in information from them. Your ancestors are absolutely wise. Any question, they have the solution in their bag. Any doubts or anything, they have a solution. And not just solution, they have tools to help you with. So you will have to connect with your ancestors, understand what the, your lineage is uh, from where you have come, your background, what they were good at. Or maybe this one is way beyond your lineage that you can put your hands on because this is way, way back. So this is a confirmation that you have all that it takes to, to be strong, to endure all that life is throwing at you. All right. So that is something they are confirming. We have never given up. And so, so is, um, so will you, you, you will not give up on anything because you are, you are carrying, uh, uh, our gifts, you know, like, we never gave up and that same gift is passed on to you. You have this tendency to bounce back. You will never give up. You only collect knowledge, wisdom, whatever that is necessary for you and you keep going. And also I'm getting this energy of wisdom keepers. Your ancestors are wisdom keepers and maybe you're drawn uh, to, to understand more and more about ancient things like probably Stonehenge, for example. You're very curious to understand what it is and wherever you go, you collect a souvenir uh, to to keep it with you to to remember and to um, remind you of the beauty of earth and you probably you pass it on to your children your grandchildren or or your your own grandparents passed it on to you but that is the sort of lineage like you collect information and you pass on to others maybe you're curious in general and you you like to research a lot about everything and you want to be thorough about any subject that you get into because for you knowing is everything you you are very curious you are all always uh, looking for knowledge looking for information and things like that okay <laughs> absolutely see her see beyond the current situation and spring see your seeds grow yeah seers your lineage your ancestors they were seers and that is one of the gift that they have passed on to you like you can see things and you believe in the unknown. It's it, You don't fight unknown. That is what they're telling. Like, um, we don't fight the unknown. We are fine with unknown. We are fine with not knowing things. We are fine with uncertainty. Um, and uh, we, we don't fear getting going into the dark and find our way out. Uh, you know, we are courageous. We are bold. And... Um, uh, we only follow our inner guidance and inner wisdom more than what others tell us. We believe in our own intuition. We talk to our intuition. We talk to the, the gods, goddesses or any energy that we believe in. We connect with them, guardian angels or spirit guides or anything that we believe in. We connect with them. We listen to our inner guidance system, not the outside world so much. And that is how we know we will never go wrong because the information never came from outside. It always came from inside. So it has some value to it. So that is something you may have to pay attention to. And then spring, see your seeds grow. Uh, so it is going to, all these gifts is going to get stronger now. Especially after this reading, now with this one coming to your attention, all these gifts are going to get stronger now because it has come into your attention, into your consciousness. Like you have this gift of seeing, uh, like you may be good in divination, uh, you know, and you you, you uh, easily channel information and messages. You may be, you are a channeler um, or people come to you for guidance and you don't know how you are, um, so how fluently you can give guidance to them. You don't, ha don't even have to think about it. Like you're channeling all the time. You're a pure channel, pure vessel uh, for the divine to speak through. And people will be drawn to you in this uh, aspect. You know, if you're doing this as a career, uh, like divination, counseling or any sort of uh, therapy or healing, people will be drawn to you. Uh, and for some of you, if the business was too slow all this while, uh, if you are a healer and you have your own therapy, center or something business is going to pick up uh, very soon uh, from now on and your gifts are going to get stronger and much deeper and you can rely on them is what they are telling okay ten of pentacles and five of wands yeah, you may have a lot of doubts inside you know you have gifts 
yeah that's what they're telling like you know you have gifts but um but you fight it you don't believe it uh, you think or you have a confusion whether is, is this for real do i really have this gift or am i imagining it am i um, you know just am i naive to believe this should i be cautious about so i'm seeing a lot of questions inside you doubts inside you or um, people may not believe in what you're telling or they may sort of uh, look at you in a different uh, view point and they don't understand what you're doing or what you're talking or what your dreams are or what is that career that you want to do because it it feels very mysterious mystic witchy uh, healing healer sort of energy or like therapist counselors uh, 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 psychiatrist something related to your mind is going to be very very strong for you um you know for group number 1 it was about voice um for you it is about mind um not not even mind as in a regular way that we think um the 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 mind i'm talking about the 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 channeling part of it like uh, you know you you bring down messages like you are the messenger um, the way i am doing it right now like i my mind is not working right now like i'm speaking fluently because the messages are coming and i'm not giving any time to think about okay what am i speaking is this statement right or is is this going to resonate with whoever is listening no i don't think any of that because i know what are the messages are coming is going to be relevant to whoever is hearing at this time so that is the sense that you have to get into is what your guides especially your ancestors are telling you have got that gift to connect with the other side and bring in the messages downloads and use it to your benefits and you choose to do so you can um help others as well and you are about your life is about to take off like it is going to take flight anything that was the if your business was low you were not attracting clients and things like that it is going to get very stronger from now on you're going to take flight things are going to get much better now and we especially with this card spring see your seeds grow you have planted all the seeds necessary not just in this lifetime in way back you have already planted your seeds now this is the lifetime you will see the result you will see the plant um, going because of the seed that you've planted this is the fruition lifetime for you you are going to enjoy the benefit of the seed that you planted way back okay then we have the guardian coming in here they are very very protective of you group number 3 a lot of protection and then here the card it is giving me the major vibrations of protection they are so protective of you because especially maybe the work that you choose to do it may need a lot of energetic protection they are also telling you to protect yourself very well energetically speaking like um you know wearing crystals or or generally imagining that white light or golden light around you when you're going out or when you're doing any spiritual work or any career that you choose to do which is related to any of that we spoke here so protection is very important to you uh, but they are protecting you as well they are with you in this journey to see you stand in your light and speak your truth and express yourself freely and um, own your gifts and use that for others benefit for others service and use it for yourself as well all right so that is what your ancestors are telling you today hope this resonated with you hope you enjoyed this reading if you did please subscribe to my channel love you all see you in my next reading bye bye